Today, we're gonna be showing you guys some really awesome and easy photo hacks to do. If you guys notice anything different in the background, it's because we actually moved into our new house. So if you guys wanna see a house tour, let us know and we'll give you guys a house tour. Also, we've been doing a weekly Zoom call with you guys. If you wanna join this week's Zoom call, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on our post notifications, and comment down done when you're done. So this is the next photo hack right here. And how you're gonna to wanna to take this one is, obviously you're gonna to wanna to get next to a pole and then you're gonna to wanna to get someone to help you, someone you can trust to hold on to you because that's the whole point because they drop you you're gonna get wet yeah so it's kind of like a trust fall right here right so you're gonna want to take the person's hand hold on to the person okay you also, you have, to be, you also have to be pretty flexible too and i think i'm like okay you hold on to alex though yeah just sure ready right. one oh wait this looks good this is the titanic couple goes oh my gosh and just like this the dream team pictures right here the wow dream. they're gonna be like how do you get a background that blue <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. oh my gosh, this looks good. <laughs> <laughs> look the? at these right here. <laughs> Why are you making that face, Alex? I don't know. That's a pretty simple one, kind of like the ones we've done in the past where we, where you get a beautiful background, you just need someone to help you get against it because obviously you can't take, or you could, if you're super, you could, if you're really athletic, or I don't want to fall in. You, you could take it, it like this. You could take it like that. You could. <laughs> so for this photo hack right here, we're gonna show you guys how to do a really cool panoramic shot. All you have to do for this one is open up your camera and switch it to the panoramic setting. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and now turn, Alan. There we go. And it should come out good. Look at that. It came out like this. What the? Why do I look so weird? <laughs> no, you don't. I don't you look don't. like that, right? Do I look like that? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like it. That took like, what, five seconds? If you want to take a really cool picture, say that you have a twin, and this one is a good photo hat for you. Alan randomly left me to go hang out with this girl, so it's just going to be me filming a video, guys. Okay, for the next photo hat. Wait, Alan? What are you doing, Alan? We're filming a video. What was that for? Wait, who's around the corner? I'm no, I'm eating my ice cream, dude. What? Wait, I thought you were making out with a girl. Okay, but on a real note, this is actually how you pull off this illusion right here. So you want to go to a corner of a wall and put like half of your body, like, you know, half your body behind the wall, half of it in front. And you want to take your hand, wrap it around your waist like this. And basically you want to have like an ice cream cone or like a sandwich. While you're like, just to give off the illusion that you're like kissing someone. And you're so like, you got to be aggressive. You got to over exaggerate it to give off the effect that you're kissing someone. Rock your body a little bit and yeah, like swerve yeah. your hand as and if you're feeling yourself. Yeah, and then if done correctly and the angle looks right, it should come out looking like this. Who's that? What do you mean? You think I have you, <laughs> you think I would have a girlfriend? See, this is something, this is a very, very cool illusion hack that you can pull off on your parents. And I thought you would get a really good reaction. Like just imagine them walking around the corner and seeing you make out with your ice cream. But in their heads, they think you're making out with someone. Ah, uh, guys, I think I'm losing my mind. Just a little, uh, help, please. Uh, All right, let go of me. Let go of me, Alan. Okay, obviously that was just an illusion. It's pretty simple to do actually. Obviously you need two people and the first person gets inside a pool. Whoever has the bigger butt, you can think of, no, I'm joking. <laughs> for me, you get inside the pool and you're gonna want to not show your shoulders. So what works best for me is I cross my arms and I'll lean my head over here like this. So for the front, it looks like it's just my head showing, like just dangling yeah. off. And for me, I have to lean all the way down. It's very important to put your head down meanwhile arching your back up, but not too much. So it'll look like this. Don't mind my stomach. You don't have to grab my hair so hard. And if done correctly with the right angle, it should look just like the way we did it. Like I'm posting that picture, Alan. That right there says next Instagram picture. I'm posting it? Alright. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> 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 Alex, why'd you ruin it? What do you mean? I didn't you... ruin anything. Wait, why are you on the ground? I'm making it look like I'm falling off a building. What are you? I've done this before. Okay, wait, so for this one, if you want to appear that you're falling off a building, you're gonna to want to find some steps like this and a sidewalk. And what you do is you just lay down on the ground, take one arm like this, except you have to make it look straight. Like, like act like you're doing a pull up. <sighs> yeah, no, 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 like do this with your feet, do this with your feet and have your other hand down like this. Your hand's supposed to be back like this, Alan. <laughs> Alan, your hand's supposed to be back like this, yeah. Make sure your feet are like dangling up in the air, like you're actually like, you know, cause that's how gravity works if you're falling off a building. So 
Then you make it look like you're just struggling to hang Push on. Push your other arm like this. Make sure no one's in the background because it'll ruin the shot, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, with the right angle in the right place, it turn out like this. And then after you get all that done, you're gonna wanna flip the video so it appears that it's upside down. And now, now you finish it out, Alan. And with the proper angle and the right background, it'll make it look like you're actually falling off a building. So on a serious note, if you guys want to look like you're levitating, all you need to do is take your two shoes, tie them together like this. It's honestly just a matter of perspective. You want to position yourself to where you can only see one foot. And after you position yourself like that, you want to pick up your right foot and stand on the tippy toes with your other foot. So and it'll look like this. Like that. And for a brief moment, it'll actually look like you're levitating. This next photo hack is probably one of our favorites. Honestly, we have this problem where we look short in our pictures. We're actually 6'1", but everyone thinks we're like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, yeah, I don't know why, but if you want to appear taller in your pictures, this is what you're going to want to do here. First step, you're going to want to take a picture from down up, so you appear taller, obviously. Angle it. Most people take their pictures up down, which is what we do a lot, so that's why we look shorter. But if you angle it down up, it actually makes you look a lot taller, right? See that? See? Yeah, see? Don't we look a lot taller? Compared to tall. up here. So from here, you're going to want to take the picture at a pretty low angle so you already appear taller. And there we go. And then you're going to want to pick out, oh, this one's good. I like this one. And from there, here's how you're going to make yourself appear taller. So after you open up Snapseed, you're going to want to click on tools. And after you click on tools, you click on perspective. And then you just push yourself up to make yourself appear taller. Like this. Drag it up until you're happy with your height. Oh my gosh, it makes your legs look so long. Oh my like here's, here's how it looks over exaggerated, right? So obviously that's a whole oh, wait, lot. That's too much. Uh, is that what you do when you say you're 5'7"? So obviously this is overdone. You, you look too tall. But if you do it like this, right if you here, do it like this right here, this should look fine. And here's the before and after. Before, after. Dang, I just realized my legs don't look that long. I think that's what makes me look so short in my pictures because I don't have long legs. And this actually makes your legs look long. Oh my gosh, Alan, you're tall. Oh my, I look you're like tall. I'm 6'5". So if you appear short in your pictures, then this photo hack right here is perfect for you. Oh, you want me to hold on to the dog? Yeah. Oh, oh my so cute. So for this next photo hack, you can actually make it look like you have a lot of friends. It's more of an advanced panoramic hack. Let me show you guys how it works. So you and Andrew get over here and I'm gonna open up the camera app and you know, just act like you're hanging out. Be like talking and everything, right? Be like, oh, like, what are you up to? Just uh, hanging out with some friends. So we're gonna be taking three pictures right here. We're gonna stand right here for one of them. One in the middle, one on top of the couch. All right. Move. <laughs> oh, now I actually understand how to use this. Wait, and here's the results right here. That looks pretty good. It looks like there's a party going on. Oh my gosh. If we wanted to, we actually could have swapped outfits. And some people would have actually thought we were in a lit party. They wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. So your parents were telling you, know, you can't get any girls. Simply just get one girl and just... Multiplier by six. <laughs> Multiplier <laughs> by six. It came out good. I like yeah. it. It's important to get your stretches in every single day. As you can see, he's a lot more flexible than I am. Uh, I'm gonna. I can't reach nearly as far as him. Uh, I can't. Uh, I just don't know the angle nearly as well as he does. He's 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 got it cheated. But on a serious note, if you want to appear to be super flexible, what you want to do is you're going to want to take your shoes off, and then you're going to want to sit right in front of your knees, like this, and wrap your hands around the shoe, sit down on your knees, like this, stretch forward, and then just start stretching. And with the right angle, it appears that he's super flexible. So for this last photo hack right here, um, it looks like they just opened up Instagram, searched up, I'm Alan Stokes, 
followed you, then went on my account and followed me and scrolled and saw a bunch of really cool photos. I think that's the photo hack because if you want some good inspiration, our accounts are actually pretty good accounts to follow if you want to get some good inspiration, take some good pictures. Yeah, but uh, on a real note guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and, and also don't forget guys, if you want to see a house tour, let us know because we really want to show you guys the house and yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.